Hello, hello, hello. Can you all hear me? Let's see if we can make this a little bit better here. There we go. Now I'm actually looking at you. Just waiting for people to show up. Just waiting for people to show up. How's everybody going tonight? Hey, Geek Dan, how you doing? Oh, from the gaming, I'm sorry, how you doing? I'd like to know why my fembot is not working. We're going to try to pull her back up. How are you doing from Willing Gaming? We're just going to test my fembot real quick. Quick smoke. Said. Test. All right, she is working. Vault girl one hundred. Hey VG, how you doing? Hello, Mikey. VG, uh, is it possible that you can uh, discord me out because again i'm using my phone and my laptop right here so i can't uh discord myself out please let me grab myself a quick drink real quick Drinking some lemonade. Vault girl, one hundred and forty-five. 
said, yes, I will. Thank you. As soon as we get a couple more people in, I can probably start cooking. Uh, I'm going to have to start cooking soon. It's already 5.08. We don't want to upset Papa Quick Smoke. Uh, today we are going to be making chicken and rice cheesy taco enchiladas. Uh, and, yeah, enchiladas. I keep wanting to call them emp empanadas, but they're not empanadas. Um, I'm going to have our fingers crossed on this one because... Hey, Tizzy, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. <clears throat> XY Tizzy. So. I have never made this before. And I'm working off of a recipe, creating my own recipe. So uh, this is gonna be this is gonna be very very interesting, and I gotta try to figure out what I'm gonna do first. So I will say that I did do some preparing. Written remedy, how are you, sweetheart? Um. Uh, good, glad to hear it. I'm doing well myself. Reaper, how you doing? Thank you. Taco chiladas, yeah, chocolate, taco chiladas, and again, Fembot is just stopped working for me. What the hell? Let me see if I can get her to come back up one last time. If not, then uh, I will apologize for um, missing a lot of the comments while I'm cooking, guys. I will try my best. Plasmin one hundred eighteen a underscore p said about jam time of course she comes up when you're uh F easy e said all right quick smoke heart. so anyway getting back to us we're making chicken and what rice cheesy taco enchiladas or taco said. chiladas hey, as written said this. um well, girl, i did a little prepping said. off camera because uh this is a process to make from what i'm seeing um said uh you could boil or fry the chicken i decided to boil my chicken first uh with a little help of vg from uh her recipes i i hopefully i boiled the chicken with some flavor um so uh yeah let's let's jump to it huh I will show you what you need. All right, so right down here, let me move my notes aside here. I always forget one thing in the fridge. Always, never fails. So what we're going to need, I, and I covered everything up just because, you know, I like to keep things covered, but you're going to need some chicken, which I'll show you in a minute. And this is going to be a somewhat easy but complicated recipe at the same time. So you're going to need some chicken, some rice, some taco mix, some chicken broth or stock. And uh, some other various ingredients. And let me show you. Ugh. Oh, excuse me. Whew. Let me wash my hands real quick. All right. So let me show you some of the ingredients that we're going to need here. You're going to need some... Tortillas, uh, fajita style, because they're more flexible and they're just the right size. Okay, uh, some diced onions. These are diced really finely. You want them as small as you can get them to dice them. Hey, hey, how you doing? Hey, Heather, how you doing? All right, so we want about a cup of rice. Your taco mix, some oil, 
You're gonna need. Uh, I'll I'll try to put the 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 recipe in the description a little later. So you need at least a fourth of a cup of oil, okay? A half a teaspoon of onion powder. A half a teaspoon of garlic powder. A fourth of a teaspoon of cumin. And I ran out. I, I finished this off, but you're also going to need two tablespoons of chili powder and four tablespoons of flour. Okay, so like I said, I had boiled my chicken earlier, and I'm I'm leaving it sitting in the uh, broth. So we're gonna. We're going to uh, start preparing this. Uh, I'm trying to figure out the best way to prepare this. So the first thing we're going to need to do is uh, let's make the empanada sauce first, okay? So for the empanada sauce, I already, this is where I fucked up, okay? Because I'm supposed to make a roux of it, but I put it all in a bowl already. So that's, again... Two, uh, four tablespoons of flour, two tablespoons of chili powder, a quarter tablespoon of cumin, uh, a half teaspoon of garlic, and a half teaspoon of onion powder. Okay. So I need a, a pan. And you're also going to need a fourth a cup of oil. So let's turn on the heat. And we're going to put it on medium heat. Alright, we'll go. No, my rice is not cooked yet. I'm going to do that while we're making the, uh, while we're cooking the chicken. Okay. There's a reason why I, I, uh, I haven't cooked the rice yet. Because, um... I want it fresh and I want it warm already. So I'm going to bring you over here to our frying pan. And I'm just trying to get it warm. Okay. Because uh, we're going we're gonna to make a roux type. Oh, maybe I should catch it, huh? Uh, Alright, so there's that. And while I'm doing that, uh, while I'm waiting for the oil to warm up, I am just going to take all this and mix it together. So how's everybody's week going so far? I hope we're having a good week. Just so you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to have to do it a little carefully. Make sure I don't burn anything. And one of the things that's also going to be very important that you have while you're doing this. Rick Meredith said yes twice. All right. So we're also going to make sure you have close by is a two cups of uh, chicken broth or chicken stock. Nice. All right. So it's getting warm there. Then we're going to start making our roux, okay? Now, here's the pain in the ass part, and is that you got to, you got to kind of put it in slowly. And 
and you kind of want to I'm going to turn down my heat because it's a little high mix it in pretty good and I'm going to take it off the heat a little bit because it's starting to get too warm And it doesn't look like much now, but it will turn into your enchilada sauce. And I might add a little extra oil in there just to get it going there. And I go not a whole lot because there are going to be adding the chicken stock. Right now, I'm just trying to get the spices alive there. There we go. Now make sure that heat is on medium to low. You don't want to burn it. Yeah. I'm going to throw it all right in there. And you want to get rid of those lumps. So there's a lot of whisking here. A lot of whisking. And you don't want to stop until your, your sauce is nice and smooth. And if it's still too thick, you can always add water. Or if you have extra stock around, add some stock to it. I want to try mine a little thick. Now, what I did for the stock, okay, is I actually use uh, some water and I used a little bit of um, a couple of packets of bouillon powder and then I threw a half an onion in there and then I threw uh, my chicken breasts in there. Okay, and that's how I made my roux. There we go. It's starting to look nice and smooth now. I'm going to turn off the heat for now. Because we don't want it to burn. Thank you, honey. HMC, again, if you guys don't know, is my sister. She's in Boston right now. Alright, so I'm going to try to put this, I'm going to try to pour this into a container right now. So give me one second, guys. Almost done, so yeah, I got the pan kind of empty here. Gonna scrape the rest out with a rubber scraper. So, has anybody ever had? I've never had enchiladas before, so I don't really know if I like them. But I know I like Mexican food, so it's going to be interesting. Throw some water in this pan. And there's our enchilada sauce. Alright, so that's we're gonna do that. Set that aside for now. And then we're gonna get our our empanadas ready. But while we're doing that now, I have here okay, I have some more chicken stock. There's a cup of uh chicken stock in here, okay? This is for the rice. So we're going to turn that on, and we're going to let that boil. As soon as that starts to boil, we're going to add our cup of rice. Awesome. We're going to do a little bit of cleaning here. 
Always clean as you go. Makes it less to do later on. All right, now we're going to turn the heat on low for this griddle right here. Ooh, seafood enchiladas. I don't know how I feel about that. All right, so let me just rinse this out a little bit more. I don't have a whole lot to clean later on. All right, so what we want to do is we add just a smidgen of oil here, okay? Not a whole lot. Because we want to make our, our tortillas soft and pliable. Okay. So I'm just going to maybe a little bit more than that. There we go. I want to be able to spread the tortillas around a little bit. Uh, the oil. Looks like a little bit more oil is needed because we don't want it drying up. There we go. That's probably about freaking a tablespoon and a half of oil there. There. There we go. Now we're all covered up. Uh, you could. I, mean, I. They've said uh, when I read the recipe, they said that you could um, do this in a microwave. Uh, or, or, you know, other ways, if you know how to warm up your tortillas a little bit and make them apply, like, they're pretty wiry right now. Like, you can take take one, and, and I'll show you in one second here while we're waiting for that to uh, warm up here. I'm going to open up my uh, bag. Water's almost warming up. So, I mean, as you can see, they're pretty pliable right now, but we want to get them a little bit more, a little bit more so they don't break when you put them together. So I'm going to grab a plate that I can use to throw them on. I'll put it way back here away from the flame. And as you can see, our water... Our, our stock is starting to boil so that is hot enough we're going to just take the rice throw it in there do a little mixing and that's going to get a nice cheesy fla uh, uh, chicken flavor uh, throw a cover on it shut the heat off Set it back there and forget about it. Sorry, guys, if those angles were really, really shitty. So, this feels like it's warm enough. We're just going to put the tortilla right on it. We don't want to cook a whole lot. Just want to make it appliable. A little softer. Ooh, I just tried some of that enchilada sauce. My God. That is going to taste delectable. I'm going to flip it over. And we're going to do, like, uh, we're going to put all the enchiladas in this pan right here. So, we're going to have to do a few of them. <laughs> and I would love to be able to just sit down and chat, but uh, you got to keep an eye on these. You don't want them to overcook. There we go. That's perfect right there. So we're going to bring this oil up here a little more. And drop another one down. All right. These are soft enough where you almost don't even need it. 
But uh, we're going to do it anyway because the recipe says to. So has anybody ever made empanada uh, enchiladas before? Has anybody? I mean, I love Mexican food, so I try to make as much Mexican food as I possibly can. Now, are we all big fans of uh, Mexican food here? Pop a quick smoke. Oh, 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 oh. See, it, it, it bubbles up real quick, so you got to be careful. That's good. Nice. All right. And well, that's me right now, written because I have no clue really of what I'm doing. I've never done this before. I usually just make tacos or fajitas, but you gotta, you know, you gotta start. Everybody has their first, right? You know, you gotta start sometime. And it just takes practice. I mean, practice makes perfect, I guess. We're going to need that frying pan from early a little later. Be back one second, guys. That one might be a little cup too much. Oh, that one's fine. So I went and got a brush. So I could... Brush that pan every time I go to make one. And maybe pre-brush the next one. I'm a taco person. I love tacos. Absolutely love tacos. Uh, so I, I kind of I get shy when I go and try something new when it comes to Mexican food. So uh, and right now, if you, if you can't, right now I'm just I'm emptying out. I'm draining. Draining my chicken because <laughs> I want it a little bit drier than what it is now uh, when I go to apply it. Really doesn't matter to be honest with you because I'm going to be putting taco sauce in it. Get some more of that oil in here. I'm going to have to probably add some more oil. Yeah, I mean... I, I'm not a big fan of refried beans. I do like them sometimes in my burritos. But it's not... Not my favorite for uh, Mexican food. But they do work with certain things. Like, you know, for the first, uh, last year was the first time I actually tried avocado on uh, Mexican food. Yeah. 
Slacker, what's up, brother? My man Slacker. So we got maybe one, two, three. We have four more of these to go, and then we can uh, move to the next step. Again, we're not fully cooking these. We're just we're just warming them up and making them apply a pot flexible, a little more flexible. Sounds good. I'm just going to put some oil on top here. Eminem Pro, what's up, my brother? Cheers from across the pond. Never big a, been a big fan of guacamole. Never could understand why people would love like avocado sandwiches and shit like that. Red beans and rice didn't miss her. Sorry. Couldn't resist that one uh, written. Let's see how many we got here. Because we don't have a whole lot of room. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, we'll call this the last one. I said hi, Eminem. You didn't listen to me. I said, what's going on, my brother from across the pond? All right. Oops. All right. That's good. So we're just going to let that sit right up here. We're going to get rid of this pan. Oh. Melting my cup here. Alright, we're also going to need a cup of water here. So now we're going to move to the taco part of the chicken. Okay. Just gonna add a little bit of onion and a little bit of garlic. We're gonna let that oil heat up. God damn, who put this? In Pop a quick smoke, put this kit, uh, he was the last to use this, he put that on tight, 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 tight like a tiger, we're going to use a little bit of garlic here, a little bit, all right, and then, as soon as that starts to sizzle a little bit more, we're going to add the onions. Like I said, this is a quite a, uh, this does have a, uh, like a step process. It does, it takes a little bit of prepping time. And it, so it does take a, a little bit of time to get it prepared. And we're just going to caramelize the onions a little bit. Get some flavor in there. A little bit of flavor. Alright. 
But so uh, while you guys are watching that, I'm gonna go check the chat real quick. I'm just going to get these a little glossy. I like to bang my pots. And does that make you feel better? We'll use this. So everybody can hear me fine, right? Just uh, want to make sure that everybody's hearing me and I'm not talking to myself here. Alright, next part. It's the chicken. <laughs> Alright, that's going to be good. We got some leftover. We're going to make some chicken salad with that. Papa Quick Smoker loves a chicken salad sandwich, and we're going to make some chicken salad. It does. It smells delicious right now here. Uh, it smelled good earlier with just the chicken cooked. Now it's really starting to smell great. You don't have to fry this up too much here because we're going to be sticking this in the oven. So while we're doing this, I'm actually going to preheat my oven to 375 because we're going to be, and I got to check to make sure there's nothing in there. All right. All right. So now we're going to add. Hey, Squishy, how you doing? So now we're going to add some water here. And I want to let that kind of start to uh, sizzle a little more. A little, once it starts to simmer, that's when I'm going to uh, add the taco flavor. So I'm actually going to turn the heat up a little bit just to get it going. All right, are we starting to? No, not yet. It's getting one. It's getting there. It's getting there. While we're waiting for that to warm up, I want to take a chance to uh, remind you that Vault Girl and JPIC has a cooking playlist. Uh, Geeks can cook. It's made from you guys. The community, they got well over a hundred videos now, well over. Uh, VG, if you want to put the link in there, you can. I do recommend you check it out, I mean, because it's, 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 it's recipes from you guys. You know, everybody's always like, hey, what do I want to cook for dinner tonight? What do I want to cook for dinner tonight? Well, shit, there are a ton of ideas there. A ton. If you don't 
watch that playlist and not come up with something that you want to cook, there's something wrong with you. So definitely check out that video, uh, that video playlist on Vault Girls channel or J Pick of Deaths, and uh, I guarantee you, you will uh, you will not regret it. You won't regret it one bit. So now it's starting to get warm and simmer. I don't know if you can see this, but it is bubbling a little bit. I'm gonna add. Some taco sauce, some taco flavoring. And we're just gonna mix it in. I dare you to say that five times fast. I don't think you could. And don't worry about the extra sauce. That's the, the extra juice that's in here. It's going to thicken up a little bit. But we're also going to add rice to this, okay? This is just flavoring for the... Uh, oh, shit. I spilt already. God damn it. Look at that. Don't tell Papa Quick Smoke. We're going to flatten it out a little bit. Turn the heat back down to low. We're going to clean up that little mess we just made here. And we're just going to let that simmer a little bit to get the juices into the chicken. Maybe, you know, stir it. <laughs> you better not. Oh, Eminem. Thank you, brother. All right, we're just going to let that simmer a little bit. That's already got a kick to it. We'll do the sit down and chat in a minute, guys, when it's time to um, time to, to uh, cook everything. Throw everything in the oven. Okay, let's let's do a little test here. Well, it doesn't say build video, does it? Oh, you got me for a second. You got me for a second, Doc. All right, now comes the rice mixture. How you doing, Bitten by Darkness? Thank you for coming in. I really appreciate it. Alright. Now we're just going to mix the rice. And just like how we did the, the, the taco rice bowls, except we're using chicken. We want the rice to, to soap up the rest of 
the, the bread, I probably use a little too much. You might want to use a little less, probably about a half a cup of rice, I would say. We're going to be eating this for a couple of days, I can tell you that. Because I'll put this aside and make a rice bowl out of it. All right, I can shut off the heat now. Not quite up to temperature in the oven. All right, now that that's all mixed in. Let me grab the cheese. Let's make some room here. There we go. So now comes the fun part. Fun part is now. I want to make sure that this doesn't stick. So I'm just going to quickly coat my pan real quick all right so I'm going to be using I always use the Mexican four blend cheese and a little bit of sharp cheddar now you can add whatever you want to this for your flavoring but we don't eat like chili peppers here or or jalapenos so we're gonna just put a little bit of cheese right there and we're gonna take some filling okay and then I'm gonna take Some sharp cheddar just put it right on top I'm gonna fold the ends and fold it just like a burrito and then I'm gonna push it right to the end so now I just got a few more oh, shit I might have some extras who wants to come over for dinner because I'm gonna have extra left over There we go. I don't mind green chili uh, burritos. I don't, I'll tell you that. A little bit of the cheddar on top. Get your fold on. Oh, thank you. Well, believe it or not, I worked at Taco Bell when I was a kid. Put some more here. Ah, that's right. Yeah, I forgot. Someday I'll make a gluten-free recipe for you. I gotta... I'm sorry. I like my gluten. I'm I'm a I'm a fatty. I love my uh, I love my junk food. Right. Oven's ready. Yay! We got almost all of these done. I'm going to be able to make lunch tomorrow because I'll have some cheese and uh, some chicken and rice left over. There we go. This is, this is the tedious part, like the, the constant, you know, back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to get this done as fast as I can. Oh, this is looking so freaking delectable. It's making me hungry. I hope this tastes as good as it looks. <laughs> there we go. Pack those nice and tight. I got two or three more to go. Sorry, I keep reaching in front of the, uh, how about I just put the cheese there? So I don't have to keep reaching in front of the, the stupid camera. Almost done. Sure, Papa Quick Smoke is like, what the fuck? Where's dinner? I don't care. I mean, don't worry if you get some on the sides there. That's fine. Two more to go, guys. Two more. Two more to go. Gotta make sure you got your clean hands when you do this because you're, you're touching an awful lot here. And I made sure I cleaned my hands before I did this. Stuff that right there, and I got room for one more right here. Right there. I can't wait, I can't wait. I'm going to fucking destroy this when I'm eating. I'm gonna roll this one extra tight. Extra tight. Stuff it in there like a fat lady in spandex. Alright. So now we're gonna we're just gonna not a whole lot. You don't wanna stuff a whole lot on top here. Yeah, I got some excess stuff, so. There we go. Just enough to throw some of that flavor around. Alright. And this is where the fun comes in. I'm going to throw a little bit of cheese in there. And now, the enchilada sauce. <laughs> well, if you can make it here, by the time this is done, I'll feed you. All right. And some um, cheese right on top. Is that enough sauce? That's not enough sauce for you there? There we go. Got it down in the, in the corners there. I need a little bit more cheese. Just a little bit more. using a different brand this time. I'm using the El Paso's uh, for mixing cheese. I haven't used it yet. It's a little bit thicker uh, sliced.
All right. Uh -huh. That is thick enchilada sauce. I know. You can make it a little watery. I've never had it before, so I'm going to try it a little thick. Okay. So, this is the rough part, okay? You got to cover it up. You got to cover it up, okay? With some tin foil. And you gotta bake it for 20 minutes covered and then another 15 on. So we're gonna spend some time talking, guys. Uh, let's set the timer for 20 minutes. Oops. All right. All right, just in case, VG, do me a favor. You got a timer or a watch or a clock near you, VG, that you can let me know in 20 minutes, but it's all 620. All right, so 620... We'll go check it, and then we gotta cook it so that the cheese uh, bubbles up and, and boils, uh, kind of blah 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 like idios. Uh, so let's see what's going on. Oof! Tell you, this has gotten me hot. It's hot in here. It is getting hot Check in here. So Set. take off all your clothes. So what do you guys think so far? You think you're gonna try to make this? Does it look good? Here, let me put you. Uh, let me put you right here. So I'm looking at you while I'm reading. So you're not getting side view of me because I know my beautiful profile is damn sexy. Whew. By the way, I got some new glasses. These are the new glasses. Uh, I can only wear them while I'm uh, I'm driving so far because I got to get them adjusted. They they slip down way too easy. Let's flip this around. I'm gonna take my glasses off. So has anybody eaten anything special this week that that they they tried something that they've never tried before? Ha 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 ha, funny VG, funny. Oh my god, it's so freaking... I'd show you outside just to cool off, but it's dark out already. So, I mean, there's nothing to show you. We've had quite a bit of snow. Yeah, I mean, I still got my old ones. I wear my old ones when I watch TV, and when I drive, I use those because they tint in the dark. Uh, they tint in the light. Yeah, dude, M and M. It looks, it's looking good. I'm, I'm, I'm very optimistic about this one. I was like, I was kind of scared, and in going into making this because I've never made anything like this before, but uh, it's looking good. It's looking good. And speech chat has stopped. Where? Come on. Fucking speech chat. I don't know why she's not working right lately. I mean, she's making a uh, fembot for, for the PS4 look good right now. Maybe because she's... Maybe because she's British, Eminem. She thinks she doesn't have to work for a Yankee.
VG shirt is cool. This is not VG shirt. This is actual Fallout. Uh, you know, VG? It's because I live in the mountains. Yeah, nothing wants to work in the mountains. VG, are you showing something that I don't know about? No, no, it's not. It's 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 actual Vault Tech. It's it's an actual Fallout Four shirt. Well, Fallout shirt, not uh, Vault Girl. Although that would be a good idea there, VG. Helena, hello, my dear. How are you, beautiful? I gotta finish this off. Only five minutes have gone by. It's This is killing me, but it's starting to smell really good in here. Oh, thank you, Helena. Guess what we're making? I don't know. But I, I, I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm kind of. I'm antsy to see what this is going to taste like because, like I said, I've never done this before. So, um, it's really, really interesting. I like to try new things. Tacaladas. Chicken tacaladas. It's chicken tacaladas. I like that. I should change the name to my uh, my thing, Chicken Tacaladas. Well, we still got some few minutes. Should we... Uh... Yeah, well, it, it worked out a little better. So, we got a little bit of time to play. Uh, to, uh, a little bit of time to waste. So, uh, do you want to play another episode of What is Papa Quick Smoke Doing? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's gonna get oozy. It's gonna melt. Yeah, it's gonna get it's gonna get nice and dairy. This is not by any means a healthy meal. Alright, so let's see here. Alright. So yeah, that's what's left over. That's got to be a nice bowl right there. Yeah. What are you doing? Everybody wants to know. Uh, watching uh, wrestling. You're watching wrestling? Yeah, NXT. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, copyright. Don't want to do that. All right, say hi to everybody. Uh, hi. <laughs> say hi to Heather. Heather, I say hi again. All right, Papa. Yeah. See you later. So that's what Papa Quick Smoke was doing. He's watching wrestling. Uh, 
All right, that killed about two minutes. <laughs> so is anybody else planning on doing a cooking video anytime soon? Anybody looking forward to any new games coming up? Anybody got anything special that they got coming up that they want to plug? Monday as usual. You got Monday coming up. The VDSC editor. Good luck, Doc. Um, Sar tried to get me to use that, and it is freaking confusing. It really is. Hmm. I like that idea, M &M. And I don't know where Fembot decides to work. Sims 4. I you know Sims is an interesting game. It's a game I could play to relax, but it relaxes me so much that I actually fall asleep playing it. Eminem. This week, sometime this week, me and you, GTA. No excuses. We're gonna pick a day and we're gonna get on, we're gonna play. Alright? Oh, thank you, Helena. Got about ten more, nine more minutes, guys, and we're gonna put. Said. N a h h. Not really. I have a bit of Sims Four stuff to get. Oh, she is way behind. Eighty-five gaming. Said. I have so many ideas, VG. Games. I think Fembot is, uh, is shooting nice. up there, doing a little. Games. Said. What you need yeah, Heather, uh, me and Steven played GTA uh, a little while back, as well as some uh, Fortnite. Said. Hit the like button for quick smoke. MNM Pro 85 Gaming. Said. Fembot liked my idea as well on Coming Fist. Doc type one said a Joker Games, yes. Joker Games said a Doc type one, I have one very easy for you. HMC Boston said what games coming out that I'm looking Stephen forward to? GTA, almost so. You know, Volko, that is a good question. I honestly, there's not a whole lot said, I'm really looking forward to I right now. Um, I'm really looking forward to the Wastelanders. I'm really, really looking forward to the Wastelanders DLC coming out. And I'm kind of curious about the new COD uh, Battle Royal. Games that would be great. The Dire Gaming said, Oh snap. Vault Girl 145 said, What games coming out are you looking forward to, Mikey? Uh. MMM Pro 85 Gaming. Well, you want to stream it, right, Eminem? Either Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. I am trying to get time. I really will. I won't go hit it hard in stream as well. Face with tears of joy. Well, if G4 doesn't hit me up this week, which I don't think he will, why don't we do it this Wednesday, Eminem? How's that? Said. I can't wait to see Dragon Age 4 Bloodline 2 Re 3 Remake Cyberpunk. Now, Cyberpunk, is that that movie, uh, that TV, that game with uh, K 
Keanu Reeves, are they already remaking that? And Eminem, we're gonna get. When are we gonna get you on uh, 76? You keep saying that you bought it and you want to get on. You haven't even hopped on yet. At least Den has done that. Joker Games said. Yes. So it is. So why are they remaking that already? I mean, that's almost a brand new game. I mean, did it suck that much? Type 1 said, I'm waiting on Fembot to start saying order, 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 die gaming. order here. Said, Bloodlines 2 and Dragon Age, anything is more than great with me. MNM Pro 85 Gaming. Struggling to poop alone? Said, well, you don't need to poop alone. Yeah, I haven't even played it, lol. As I said, I'm a busy man. I struggle to poop alone, face with tears. Ah, gotcha, Joker. Listen, Eminem. Friends who poop together, stay together. Remember that. As long as you don't wipe each other's butts, it's okay. No homo on that. But I got you, Joker. All right, five more minutes, guys. Five more minutes, and we get to check those and then take the cover off, and then <sighs> delicious time. <sighs> yes, we do. Uh, it's my turn again, right? Or is it your turn? You know, it, we can skip my turn and go to your turn if you want. BG. That's Joker fine by Games me. Said. At Quick Smoke, oh no, remake of Re 3 and Cyberpunk, sorry. Vault Girl 145. Said. Mikey, we need to do some more Dead Island soon. The Dire Gaming. Said. Thumbs up, Green Heart. Hey, hey, Major, how you doing? Major Sea Salt. All right, do you want to skip my turn and make it your turn, VG? Vault Girl 145 said, your turn. Doc Type 1 said, as MNM Pro 85 gaming, they'll only follow you to the shitter once. Trust me. Vault Girl 145. Said. Hold on, I didn't see who said that. Joker Games. Said. Hey, Major Sea Salt grinning Dark face. type. Major Sea Salt. Said. Joker, what's up? Doc Type 1. Said. Hi, you Major. The Dire Gaming. Said. Hey, Major. Major Sea Salt. Said. Doc Type, what's up? Major Sea Salt said, Ladaya, what's up, grinning face with big eyes? Ladaya, Ladaya. Hello, Ladaya. Hello. Are we okay? MNM Pro 85 Gaming said, So this is where I'm going to say, well. Uh, I'll mark. Uh, I'll try to remember to mark it in the uh, in the timeline for anybody who rewatches this, uh, where you can skip to the end to see the end result. So uh, hopefully, uh, I'll remember to do that as well as put the uh, the the recipe for everything that you need to do this. Um, 
Again, Good chicken night. preparing is is at your Set. leisure. I boiled it oh, in. Uh, I boiled the chicken with onions and chicken uh, bouillon. You could fry it. Uh, well, pan fry it. Uh, you can grill it. Uh, well, I probably wouldn't say grill it because it'd be a different type of flavor. But if you like that smoky flavor in your empanadas or enchiladas, go for it. Uh, I probably could have. Uh, Add a little liquid smoke to this and it would taste it really good. Slacker underscore E said, Mikey, you look hungry. Joker Games said, Nice. Well, I can tell you this smoke. I am so happy I get games scum from expression for B Day gift early. So, sounds good. Major. All right, well, my timer just went off, so Major let's, uh, Said. Let's go check it out, guys. Nice. Alright. Yes, 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 yes. Stop, 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 stop. Alright. Uh, yeah, I know, I know. I keep fucking up and calling them empanadas. Oh, guys. Oh, God. Dude. I hope this looks as good as it fucking smells right now. Oh, but it tastes as good as it smells. Oh. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Now, you can serve it just like this. But we're actually going to... We're going to... Uh, we're going to cook it a little bit more. I want that cheese to... Uh, I want it to, to kind of brown a little bit. So we're going to put it right back in the oven for maybe about two minutes, guys. Two more minutes. MNM Pro X5 Gaming said, rolling on the floor laughing. I would love to send you one. I really would. HMC Boston said, oh yeah. Major Sea Salt said, Cheddar. There is some cheddar, there's some sharp cheddar, and there's some Mexican uh, mix. Said, that looks so cheesy and good. It does, it doesn't it? Oh. Said, they're savoring food. I'm liking what I'm seeing and smelling so far, people. Said, at slacker underscore e, get a separate bail credit card. That way, no one has to know. So, all in all, I mean, it's probably taken me about maybe, I'm going to say two hours total to make this. Here, let me, I'm sure you, 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 you're sick of me. Uh, I got to remember to keep doing this. So, it's taken about two hours to to prepare and cook this all together. Took maybe about an hour to shred the chicken and boil it, salt. boil and shred. Said, Brace it up, my friend. And then, uh, and um, dice the onions, uh, and then uh, the get everything baby. together. Said, maybe slacker, you should. So let me quickly just take a look at this cheese, make sure it's not burning. Slacker underscore E said, I don't keep secret stock victory hand. Looking good. One of my biggest concerns is that I lose track talking to you guys and I, I, I burn uh, burn the cheese. I don't want that. I don't want to burn the empanadas. Um, 
But it's looking good. It's looking good. Looking. You don't keep secrets, Doc. All right, Slacker. If you don't keep secrets, who killed Kennedy? Or who killed the Kennedys? That was a pretty good band back in the day, the Kennedys. Anybody remember them? They weren't that bad. Everybody got really, really quiet all of a sudden. Are, they, are you guys like salivating as much as I am right now? Just wanting to freaking just dive right into this shit? Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Alright, I'm going to check it real quick and then I'm going to do something really, really stupid. And uh, Yes, Dead Kennedys. Good job, Doc said the dead Kennedys I'll be right back written remedy All right, guys. Are you ready for something? I I, I, I can't believe I'm actually going to do this, guys. But are you ready for something really, really stupid and silly? Just to kill the next couple minutes for the cheese to, to cook, right? We don't have much time, so everybody quickly say yes or no if you want, yes or no if you want silliness right now. Something that you could probably hold over my head for a long time. But I can guarantee you, every time I I hit a chat room, you're going to think of Good me, gaming. and you're going to think of this. Said. Mine either, but it sounds practical to have a credit card for bail. MNM Pro 85 Gaming. Said. I have started making food. I'm hungry man rolling laughing. <laughs> Alright, it's almost Richard time. Kennedy. Said, yes, yes. I'm about to go grocery shopping. Yes, yes. All right, are you ready? Panda, 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 panda. I got broads in Atlanta. You're all folks. We cook like a crazy man. Okay. That was my stupidness. Let's go check. <laughs> I feel like a dickhead now. Let's go quickly check on uh, that cheese. Alright guys, now that I made myself look like an idiot, it's time. It is time. Let's pull out the fine china. I got broads in Atlanta. Look like Hannah Montana. Panda. Look at that delectableness. Let's take a closer look. Oh, yum, 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 yum. All right, now let's do some plating. What did I do with my spatula? Oh, I got some cleaning to do. Alright, so this that way. Well, 
That looks like I cut them wrong. They're supposed to go this way. Oh shit, I just dropped it. Oh well, it's not going to be a pretty plating. One more thing. A little bit of sour cream on the side because I love me some sour cream. Let's check it out. A little bit of chicken, a little bit of sour cream. Look at that ooey deliciousness. Mmm. Oh my fucking God. Enchilada heaven. Enchilada heaven. There you go, folks. There you go. Dinner's ready. Slops on. All right. So that is my chicken and rice. Cheesy taco enchiladas. Or chicoladas. Or chicken tacoladas. Chicken tacoladas. Is that what we called it? Chicken tacoladas? Written remedy. Said, OMG, thank you, Mikey, you are a gem among men. I haven't stopped laughing since you cut the first shalada in half and then dropped the second. I needed that. HMC so I hope you liked what you saw. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Find the panda. Find Hannah Matana. Go to Atlanta and subscribe. Papa Quick Smokes thinks I'm fucking crazy. Good night, everybody. Watch your language. Don't worry. It's not a friend safe uh, channel. Night, everybody.